Keller, who started Boston University across the city here not too long ago. Underway, Hampus Lindholm, the former Anaheim defenseman, and he'll send one in. No problem for Vamelka. 40 to go on the penalty. A minor to Stetcher. Brought along. Gostasper got tripped up. Play rolls on. Smith has it to the front. And they hit the pipe, and the rebound is in. And the Bruins have taken a one to nothing lead. Could have been a penalty right there. Mossesberg has taken down. There's the original shot. And right back onto the tape of Zaka and into the back of the net. A bang bang play. No way the Coyotes could recover. And I think you saw Christian Fisher there after the puck went in, stating his. Tyson Mayo. Try to move it along. Turn the other way. Coyle's got it. Coyle shoots. He scores. <laughs> Well, there's that transition turnover leading to an opportunity, and it's 2 0 Boston. Mayo turns it over and come right back at you. And what a shot by big Charlie Coyle. Short side shelf on Vamelka. There wasn't a lot of room, and boy, did he ever find it. What a pass. O'Brien, Trent Frederick, here we go. Saturday night, TD Garden. And Liam O'Brien, not much of a fight. Uh, you gotta think, they're gonna go again. Frederick is hot. The game, as soon as they step onto the ice, they're looking at each other. So yeah. this might have been a conversation, maybe in warm up as well. Big part of both of these guys' jobs. And we talked about Frederick being in the lineup, but now that Jake DeBrusque is out. He's got both Coyotes goals this season, both of them last night in Pittsburgh to the front again, and right there, Richie trying to go back in. 25! Back out high, Michelli across Keller to the line. They work it around again, good movement here. To the front, Boyd to Keller, he scores! Clayton Keller, and it's a power play goal, and they roll on with the man advantage. My goodness, that is the best I have ever seen the Coyotes move that puck around, without a doubt. Look at him zipping it around through the seam. Clayton Keller, he wants it, and he is going to get it. What a pass by Boyd. Everybody, including Swayman, thought he was going to come out and stuff this one right there. Instead, right through the defenseman's legs, onto the stick of Keller, and into the back of the net. And Clayton Keller... You go, you go. Boyd and Foligno and Moser in there. No sick as well for Boston. Addies can't clear. Clifton shoots. They score. And I think that was deflected in front. 3-1 Boston. Well, you don't see too many turnovers by this guy, but Clayton Keller. And here it is. Great play down low by the Coyotes. They win this battle. Keller gets it. He tries to flip it out and into the neutral zone. And fans on it. Ends up right there on the defenseman's stick. And he just rips it with traffic in front. And I think Polino gets a stick on it by his reaction. As that puck completely... Played around, Michelli can't find the puck. Tries to get it back to the line. McBain is on it. Pasternak to the front. Taylor Hall, he can't get a pass from Elka. Well, he seems to be a guy with uh, full effort, full energy. Seen him in the first couple of games of the regular season. Look out to the front, and Saka sent it over the top. Oh, he wants that one back. Bouncing puck to the front, oh, and Richie was there. Swayman, bit of a busted play, and the Coyotes almost get it past the Bruins goaltender. Here's a chance. Bugstad to the front, a follow, and the goal, Josh Brown. I think Dylan Gunther is going to get an assist on this as well. Dylan Gunther gets the puck right here, up the wall, right to Bugstad, and he throws it over to Brown, and he buries it. So Brown. His first goal as a Coyote, and Dylan Gunther, his first point in the National Hockey League. On the wall here. 
Right back to center ice it goes. Pasternak stripped away. Gostasbear comes in, shorthanded. Gostasbear, he scores! A shorty, and it's tied the game in Boston. That is ridiculous. And that is a play that just can't happen. Zaka gets picked in the middle of the ice. Gostasbear reads it perfectly, and off to the race as he goes. And he makes Swayman make the first move. Head up the entire way, gets the goaltender to bite, and then he puts it low on the ice. I think he puts that five hole. We'll get another look at it here. Opens up the garage door and puts her home. Into the corner it goes. Zaboro, challenged by Stetcher, comes out high. Bruins get a look, get a goal! And the defenseman, Derek Forber, has made it four to three. That's a big goal. And we talk about face-offs, and the Boston Bruins are one of the best face-off teams in the game. They win the draw, they win the battle down low, and a little D to D across. That forces the goaltender to open up and cover so much real estate, and Lamelka just can't get over and get his angle back in time. That goes far side and in. Beautiful shot by Forber. Ostaspear can't play it off the boards. Lindholm over the line. Opportunity and a goal. A.J. Greer. 5-3 Boston. Well, that one certainly hurts. Now he's hanging around this game. Tied at one point, making the most of their opportunities. Gunther tries to bank that pass up to Ostaspear. Can't handle it, back come the Bruins the other way. We've talked about their transition game all night long here tonight, and Greer just rips one. I'm not sure if that went off the stick of Mayo or not, or that goes and beats Vamelka. Now a chance here, Michelli. Try to give way to Barrett Hayton. Look out, Coyle the other way, comes back, and into the empty net. Second of the night for A.J. Greer, and that should do it. With 2.48 remaining. In this hockey game whatsoever, Vimelka is so good for a good majority of the night, but what an individual effort there by Charlie Coyle. Dances around a couple coyotes and finds. Their line, eight seconds to go. And the coyotes are gonna go to, now we get, uh, we get some pushing and shoving here. And that's no surprise, Frederick. I think that's O'Brien that's.